What up YouTube, it's so good to be back. Uh, today we're gonna be showing our weak spot training routine. Just chilling, vlogging, going through it. We miss y'all in this informal sense. You know, just ripping a full workout. You can see what we've been up to. We'll be updating you along the way, showing you some great uh, workout tips. Stay tuned. Yeah. Way to push us, baby. Oh, there are no excuses. So obviously we're benching two other times during the week for our frequency of volume. So this is a nice extra way to get a little extra chest volume in, pump it out, push ups feel really good. So hard to set up yourself, it helps if you have buddy get that weight on your back, but it's all going right down, powering out of that sucker. Let's get it. Whoa. Oh. So what's been going on, man? Not much, man. Just uh, pumped. I think we had 84,000 subs. We don't really look at the number anymore, but a lot of our older videos are blowing up. A lot going on with the podcast. Our clients online and in person are just crushing it. It's a great feeling to be helping so many people. In the garbage. We'll talk about that in a second. So basically, uh, we haven't officially announced it, but we'll announce it here so people know. Uh, we have left EHP Labs, the company that we've been sponsored by for three years. Uh, we've had some really great memories, and the products themselves, in my opinion, are great. You know, when we came on, they really focused on the product, you know, what they're putting out. They, even the original athlete manager said, you know, you guys are authentic, you're real, you know. That's why we want you on here. We want you communicating, showcasing that side. You know, we're a real brand, we care more about that alignment than nonsense, like who's juice up, who's got the biggest butt, things like that. And then over time, like that just started changing, you know, they switched athlete managers so frequently and it just became more and more about nonsense, you know, they came up with a lot of pills that I frankly really disagree with, a bunch of nonsense and quick fixes, and they say, hey, promote these things, and you know, we don't want to do that, so we want to promote those things. So we stuck to the things we love, like their protein's amazing, their BCAAs are amazing, uh, their creatine's solid, it's just monohydrate. Pre-workout sucks, but we won't talk about that. Um, but you know, like, they were really truly amazing. We were part of the team, it was great. Over time that dissipated, um, they'd ask us to do things every month. We'd do it, no kickback, no recognition. A lot of false promises were made. I mean, I don't wanna jump into that, but you know, sponsors will promise you the world, but rarely will they actually execute on that, you know? And I'm not saying this about everyone, but in my experience, I've tend to found that. Um, so you know, over time, they'd just say, do this, do this, we would do it. They wouldn't share it, and you know, we feel we're behind you know, the focus to anyone who is super juiced up, you know, like they really seem to kind of want to promote really enhanced individuals, like I'm not calling anyone out, but you know, if you look around, you can see there's a lot of that going on, you know, and before it wasn't so much about that, and there's still people on the team that we love and that are amazing, but that's just something to think of, and even, you know, there's a lot of scandals, this and that, they stuck behind an athlete that clearly shouldn't be, you know, someone who should be stuck behind. Once again, I don't want to name names, but, and we're not huge on talking on drama, we just want to let you know kind of what happened. And then near the end, Kyle will jump into that more, but you know, we already started to feel like we didn't align, so we got less involved. But all of a sudden, we just got a message from the new athlete manager, who's just a meathead. I swear I've never met someone so weird in my life. He's just incredibly unprofessional and rude, and he just sent us a really aggressive message saying, you haven't done anything, you're violating your contract, but they haven't given us anything to do. So it just, it got really messed up, and we decided at the end, you know, heck with this. They actually said something, and that was kind of the catalyst for all of it. Kyle can jump into that, but. Yeah, let's continue it. So yeah, by the end of it, um, I was consistently, basically maybe once a week sending discount codes to anybody on Instagram. That's kind of what we do is send discount Promote codes. Promote the code, right? Promote the code to get people to buy their product. Remember one month we probably did in sales, Oh, maybe twenty to thirty to forty thousand dollars. Like we did some good sales for them, obviously because people trusted us because they had good products and we did believe in them. But he sent a message saying, "Hey, notice you were spamming codes. We can't have that. We're going to take legal action." Said on we you. were using an Instagram bot. We were using an Instagram bot when literally all I did was reach out to people who had commented and like engaged with the product and, and wanted the product. Ask them if they had any questions. Uh, if you could help them. Ask them if they had them. any questions. I, I, you know, I was very nice about it, and he just went off on us. And I think maybe one of the reasons is because he just 
I don't know, I think he has a couple issues. First of all, I'm not gonna you know, try to talk crap about someone, but it was just like, even when we tried reasoning with him and talking to him, it's just something would not get through to his head. Maybe he didn't like us, maybe he didn't think we belonged there. Whole number of things, but when we were initially brought on by the athlete manager, he was fantastic. He believed in our channel, he believed in everything we did. And just by the end of it, you know, obviously, when you're not gonna be working directly with a person who brought you on board and, and believed in you, then, um, you know, things will obviously go the wrong way. But he was just super like, man, like, try to talk to him and he just nothing would get through to his head and that's kind of the reason we're like we just don't want to be here and, and this isn't the company that we want to be with we'd rather have no sponsors than something we don't believe in anymore and yeah like this culture just changed you know it's less about you know good methods good products and it just got more kind of salesy and weird and gimmicky and we even at the end that's why we became more and more distant about it so our code no longer works uh, if you're gonna shop from them you can go ahead I will say it's one of the best proteins I've ever had I will admit that and I really appreciate them for that. You know, it was a great time before the kind of, the company culture seemed to dissolve and get worse. And it seems like there's a ton of turnover and I feel like they're having systemic issues back there. That's why they can't focus on the athlete, especially the smaller athletes. But um, I mean, hey, it's a chapter ended. Like Kyle said, uh, you know, if you want to still buy, go ahead. I'm sure there's other codes out there. Saying so, we're really excited to try some new products. Always love Cellucor pre-workout C4, so I'm ordering some of that. I can't wait to try that out. Maybe we'll talk about that. Try a bunch of different stuff. You know, you get some different perspectives from us. Um, but you know, if you bought from them and supported us in that code, I mean the world. Right now, we're sponsor-free. We're just focusing on us, and we're focusing on coaching and the podcast and everything. And we'll jump into that more later in the workout. This is just like a big update video. You know, what's been going on. It feels so good to just get behind the camera and let y'all know what's happening. Let's get back to this workout. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hold up. I don't think they bout it, yeah I just need a cue that shake to put up with my habits, yeah I come prepared every week, rolled up with some baggers, yeah I double book, I triple book these days in case they acting up I'm so petty, she gets shook, on follow her, I'm ghost If I'm not her one and only get what I want, then I both You acting like I got dope, y'all been dumb, I know I've been it I've been Traps are a big weak spot for me something I really need to work on. So this day, we just dedicate to, you know, odds and ends, you know, building things that we feel are we're neglecting or we really want to emphasize, like rear delts, um, shrugging, you know, just some extra hypertrophy work from the push-ups. It's just a really fun day, and it's especially coming after three really hard days. Then we got a rest day after this, but that's kind of how we're structuring everything right now. It's been a lot of fun, it's been really effective. You know, we're trying to get some huge numbers. Coming back from my surgery, I really want to deadlift 700, bench 405, squat, we'll see what happens, but got some big, big goals for 2019 and 20 as always. It's really fired up. Been grinding for a minute, no more games, this time I get it. All my income spent on business. Yeah, yeah, I get caught up chasing women. <laughs> yeah, yeah, on high eight, it's so I'll end it. Yeah, yeah, ain't no doubt, it's time I get it. Yeah, yeah. Won't take that back, I said it, then I meant it, push so hard. I am super pumped right now. You guys wanna know I'm pumped? Yep. You wanna know I'm pumped? I do. We have a summer promotion going on right now. This is the first time we've ever offered coaching for one month commitment at a discounted rate. So, I'm out of breath here, but we're only gonna take on two to three people who sign up, who click that first link in the description. We're gonna help you with your nutrition, your workout routine, accountability, Everything you need to reach your goals, we're there for you. So click down. We're only gonna take on the people who we feel like we can truly help, so apply now. And the cardio. <laughs> well now we winning, my blood sweat, my tears, I'm driven, yeah. I just returned, never left. I just returned, never left. I just returned, never left. Woo. Won't take that back, I said that, then I meant it. Push so hard, well now we winning, my blood sweat, my tears, I'm driven, yeah. Hey. Face pulls. Great for the rear deltoids. Everyone needs to be doing them. Jeez! Oh, my bad. We're not doing curls here. <laughs> I just returned, never left. I just returned, never left. I just returned, never left. Yeah. I just tell him what it is. I'm about to biz. If that girl too close to me, I'm sorry. Shoulders are just for that summer pop. Jeez! 
We all be modern pimps from a small town, so I changed the script that I got. She says she never done. So lately, we have also been super invested in our podcast, the Fit Healthy Happy Podcast. That will be the first thing in the description down below. We'll we'll second, make it a second. Yeah. First one will be that summer special. Make sure you're checking that out. Uh, but it's for the podcast. We're now over a hundred thousand plays, which is insane, especially because we just started it. We're 80 episodes in. We constantly publish Monday and Thursday, so definitely check that out if you haven't. Second link. We're on all major podcast platforms. Here's a little tidbit of what we do. I mean, whatever works for you, that's kind of the best fitness. It's the way to do it. Whatever dieting style works, you like keto, do keto. You like intermittent fasting, do that. You like flexible diet, do that. You want to eat clean and you're consistent and you succeed with that, go for it. Like, that's, that's the best kind of thing. So make sure to subscribe to that. Make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for staying tuned for all these updates. More great content to come. We've just been keeping our heads down, helping transform hundreds of people. You can see all the transformations on the screen here. It's ridiculous. Um, we really look forward to you being our next transformation. First link, we'll see you soon. Peace.